All right, guys, today we're going to be jumping into the first video of Code Academy uh, Learn Java. So, the entire syllabus, um, so the current module is the hello world this is the basic but you have the you have the variables object oriented java conditionals and control flow and the rest of them but we're going to start off with the uh, hello world module all right so we are connected and welcome to the world of java programming Programming languages en enable humans to write instructions that a computer can perform. With precise instructions, computers coordinate applications and systems that run the modern world. So Sun Microsystems released Java in 1995. Java is known for being simple, portable, secure, and robust. Though it was released over 20 years ago, Java remains one of the more most popular programming languages today. One reason people love Java is Java Virtual Machine or JVM, which ensures the same Java code can be run on different operating systems and platforms. So the slogan for Java is write once, run everywhere. So you can uh, write this code uh, once and print out hello world once and you can run it on uh, Linux Windows or Mac does not matter because of the JVM so programming languages are composed of syntax the specific instructions which Java understands uh, we write syntax in files to create programs which are executed by the computer to perform the desired task. Let's start with the universal greeting for a programming language. We'll explore the syntax in the next ex exercise. So you're looking at a Java computer program right now. Run the code in the text editor to see what is printed. So we just hit run and we see hello world. So if you watch the last series that I did, the introduction to Java. Um, you'll catch on to stuff a little quicker this time. Uh, so we're going to be going a little quicker in this course, but it's, it's generally way more fun in Code Academy. So, so system.out.println prints out hello world. All right, next. So hello Java file. Java runs on different platforms, but programmers write it the same way. Let's explore some rules for writing Java. In the last exercise, you saw the file hello world.java. Java files have a .java extension. Some programs are one file, others are hundreds of files. Inside hello world.java, we had a class. So the class name is hello world. We'll talk about more classes about classes more in the future, but for now think of them as a single concept. So the hello world concept is hello world printer. Other classes concept can be bicycle or savings account. We mark the domain of this concept using the curly braces. Syntax inside the curly braces is part of the class. Each file has one primary class named after the file. Our class name, hello world, and our file, hello world, every world, every word is capitalized, okay? Inside the class, we had a main method, which lists our program tasks. Like classes, we use curly braces to mark the beginning and end of a method. Public static void are syntax we learn about in future lessons. String RGS is a placeholder for information when we want to pass into our program. This syntax is necessary for the program to run, but more advanced than we need to explore at the moment. Our program also displayed the text hello world on the screen. This was accomplished. 
so in the text editor so this is what we need to do so in the text editor hello uh, you dot java so let me make this bigger let me make this bigger so it's easier to see <clears throat> so inside of there that contains a hello you class with a main method inside the main method add a statement which prints hello some name with your name replacing some name make sure to end the statement with a semicolon all right so we're just gonna print out maria for this example uh, so we'll do system dot out of the print line and we'll just print out uh, hello yeah. All right, and we need a semicolon. Let's run it and check. So next, so print statements. Let's take a closer look at this instruction from our previous program. Print statements uh, output information to the screen, also referred as the output terminal. Don't worry if the sum of the terms are new to you. We'll dive into what all of this, all of these are more in the future. Uh, system is a built-in Java class. Out is dot is short for output. Print line is short for print line. We use the system dot out dot print line whenever we want to want the program to create a new line on the screen after outputting a value. So, so this is the syntax. After hello world is printed, the terminal creates a new line for the next statement to be outputted. This program will print each statement on a new line like so. We can also output the information using a system.out.print line. Notice that we're using print, not print line. So unlike print line, this type of print statement outputs everything on the same lines. So this would print out hello world. But if you had the line right here, this would put it under there. So the line creates a new line essentially. In this example, if you were to use print or print line again, the new text would print immediately after world on the same line it's important to remember where you left your program's cursor if you use the print line the cursor is moved to the next line if you use the print the cursor stays on the same line so going forward all exercises will use system dot output print line to output values you will get to practice using print statements in the checkpoints below all right, so inside of the main and underneath the print statement, let's play hide and seek. Uh, I'll put the following two statements using java.print. All right, so system.out.print, and then we'll type in three, three dots. <clears throat> And then I'm honestly gonna just copy and paste it, but you guys can type it out. Actually, I'll just type it out. Why not? It's for the video. Not out dot print line, and we'll have two. <laughs> I can't spell today, but we'll make it through. All right, so let's see if this works. No, that doesn't work. Oh, yeah, I need it. I don't need a print line. That's right. Okay. Underneath your previous two statements, I'll put the following uh, two using the values. So, stone dot out dot print line. And you type in one. And then system dot out dot print line. Uh, we'll, we'll just copy and paste this in there because I'm sure all of you guys know how to copy text. So there we have it. 
Um, let's go to next. So this, um, so I'm going to end the video right here. But this is going to be part of the next video, all right? So see you guys in the next one. Subscribe if you want to keep going, keep coding along with me. I'll see you guys in the next one.